Welcome to my X journey. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. This channel talk about my Hermes journey. You will see unboxing videos, shopping vlog, and I will share with you my relationship with my essay. If you are about to start your Hermes journey or someone who are in the Hermes journey, please consider to subscribe to this channel so that we can support each other. Please also hit the bell notifications so you won't miss another episode of my X journey videos. For those who are returning subby, welcome back and thanks for your continued support for this channel. Previously, I had shared with you all how Habi started his relationship with his current essay. If you had not seen that video, I will link the video above and put it in the description box below. As I had promised that, I will do an in-depth review of my mother-in-law's 65th birthday present. Well, as you have all been waiting for, let me take the burden out of the box. This is how my mother-in-law store it when she's not using it. Here's a dust bag. It comes with a care booklet and raincoat. Please pause the video and make your guess. What color is the bag? What leather it is and what hardware is it? Did you make your guess yet? Okay, without further ado, let me take this out. This is a Bergen 30 in the color Gris Asphalt with Palladium Hardware. This Birkin is in a somewhat rare leather. The leather is called Torellian Novino. This leather was in limited production since 2015. This leather had the advantage of both Togo and Clemens and Epson. The Novino leather is made from bold leather with a natural fine texture grain. As you can see, it is finer than either Togo or Clemens. Similar to Epson, Novino is rich in saturation and absorbs color beautifully. At the same time, it has the natural grain. The color of this bag is gorgeous. The Novino leather is more resistant to scuff and scratches than Epson. Before I show you the interior of this bag, I was given the permission from my mother-in-law to remove these plastics from her hardware. Let's do this together here. I highly recommend you removing these plastics within one year of ownership as the adhesive on the plastic can oxidate the hardware. Let me show you the inside of this bag. Again, the day code is located on the side here. As you can see, the Y stamp, that means it is produced in 2020. There is a zip pocket here in the back, and there is another pocket in the front of the bag. Please comment below if you want me to do another video of what's inside my mother-in-law's Birkin. Or you can simply click the like button so I can convince her to allow me to film what's in her bag. Perhaps, if this video receives over 500 likes, I will have her film what's in her bag. A change of hands perhaps for you all, but I will still do the narrative. <laughs> if you would like to see her hands, please click the like button right now. Let me show you what else we have purchased along with this Birkin. My mother-in-law wanted two twillies to protect her handles. So this is what we have picked for her. And I put the Tilly's name at the corner as usual. So the reason why we picked this Tilly's for my mother-in-law because it's symbols and the navies and white, it just matched perfectly with the Gris Ashford. What do you guys think? Another item that we got um, was offered by our essay, which is the Oren Sandal Bat Charm. Can you guess what color it is? So let me open it. It's the pink one. So let me put this on. And it actually looked really good with a Bergen, we think. Um, it's just... So yeah, what do you guys think? I think this looks good, right? And then at the same time, I also purchased another Tully for my Lindy. 
if you guys remember, I got a Lindy before we got off for the Birkin. And let me show you once again. And I had the another Twilly that I purchased earlier. I tend to like having two different Twillies that match each other and um, put it on all my Hermes bag. That's just me. So what do you guys think of doing that? I know a lot of people like to have, you know, matching ones, but um, I'm going to be a little bit different. So another story I would like to share is remember I told you guys that my hubby did email his essay in regards to my mother-in-law's wish list. So here's our requirement. Um, it was either Togo or Clemens with Palladium hardware. And our first choice of color was the Grish Moret. The second choice was the Iting, And the third choice was the Grish Asphalt. When we got the offer from the SA, we were surprised. This is a Grish Asphalt um, with Palladium hardware. Basically, it's a perfect match. And surprisingly, we got the Novino leather. and. According to his essay, this leather is relatively rare. Um, so it's it's basically a perfect fit for my mother-in-law. So another story I would like to share is that I think the reason why we we're able to get this offer so quickly was because our essay said my mother-in-law's age, it's about the same as her. So she really wanted to make this happen for my mother-in-law. So I guess we kind of like just click right there. And so we feel very fortunate and very blessed. And of course we will stick with her for a while. I hope you had enjoyed this video of my mother-in-law's Birkin and this concluded all purchase in 2020. Please consider to subscribe and hit the bell notification for my next video as I continue to venture in my Hermes journey. Please comment below if you have any questions or any video content that you would like to see in this channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!